Powered computer speakers are one of the hottest categories in home audio right now. As we all spend more time at our desk, adding a great sounding pair of speakers certainly makes listening to music much more enjoyable than those tiny little speakers in your laptop or even the cheap speakers that came with your desktop. In this video, we'll go over a few tips, tricks, and upgrades to improve the performance of your powered speakers, some costing very little and some that cost nothing but a few minutes of time. Now let's get started. First, we're gonna make sure your speakers are set up correctly. For this one, all you need is a tape measure. Simply hooking up your speakers and computer and then clicking the play button is all it takes to get music going, but this isn't gonna tell the whole story. If you set up your speakers properly in relation to your ears, you'll hear a nice wide sound stage in front of you while you're working. This makes music much more fun and pleasant to listen to. All you need to do is make sure each speaker is the same distance from your ears, and the easiest way to do this is to position your chair exactly how it will be when you're seated at your desk, and then measure from each speaker to the center point of your chair. We like to try to go for an equilateral triangle or as close as you can get to it. So if your speakers are three feet from the back of your chair, put them about three feet apart on your desk. We also suggest you experiment with angling them in just a bit. The further apart they are, the more you'll want to angle them in. Play a very simple recording. Something with a single voice is always best. And when you get them set up properly, the performer should sound like they're coming right out of the computer screen. And one more thing on position. Most powered speakers have a dedicated left and right speaker. So make sure they're in the correct position. Another great way to improve your current setup is adding a pair of speaker stands. Just about every powered speaker company makes a set of stands for their speakers, and while you can definitely spend a lot if you want to, you can typically get a good pair of stands for $30 to $50. These serve two purposes. First, they angle the speaker up, so it's pointing more towards your ears. This gives the speaker a much taller sound, which makes the music sound more like the band is in the room. Secondly, the stand will help isolate the speaker from your desktop. Your desk resonates with the speaker as it plays, and this does add some coloration to the sound. After you add your stands, go back through our first tip on setting up your speakers to make sure they're positioned properly. Now, we're gonna talk about DACs, or Digital to Analog Converters, also known as a DAC. A DAC is what converts a digital music signal coming from your computer to the analog signal that you hear. DACs are in everything we use, from cell phones to televisions. Since they're used everywhere, there is a huge range of quality and price. All computers have a DAC inside them, and how you choose to hook up your computer to your powered speakers will determine if it's being used or not. If you're running a cable from a headphone jack on your computer into your speakers, the conversion from the digital to analog is happening inside the computer, which means you are using the computer's built-in DAC. If you have your computer connected to your speakers with a USB cable, that means the digital to analog conversion is happening once the signal reaches the DAC inside of the powered speaker. An easy way to know which DAC is being used is to remember that auxiliary cables and RCA cables transmit an analog signal from your computer and a USB cable transmits a digital signal from your computer. A whole new category of tiny USB DACs has emerged in the last few years, and these little devices simply plug into a USB port on your computer, and they have a small mini plug connection for an audio cable to a headphone cable. All you have to do is simply plug one of these into your computer and connect a cable and plug the other end into the analog input on your powered speakers. Depending on your computer or streaming platform, you may also need to set your new DAC as the sound output so your computer knows where to send the digital signal. The difference between an external DAC and the computer's DAC, or even the DAC that's built into your speakers, will astound you. We've had many customers write to us just to tell us how much better their music sounds with an external DAC. The better your speakers are, the more you'll appreciate it too. While ultra-high performance DACs can get up into the thousands, our favorite DAC for the money is the AudioQuest Dragonfly Black. At only $99, this is a great upgrade for any pair of computer speakers. We're going to talk about speaker stands again for just a minute because we wanted to draw our attention to a specific pair, ISO Acoustics 130 stands. 
The sonic improvement with these stands is big. These will fit most powered speakers that are larger than five inches wide and six inches deep. This makes them pair up great with the Peachtree M series, Kanto Tuck U4 and U6, the Audio Engine A5 series and HD6 models, and most of the clutch power speakers as well. They can be adjusted to 14 different heights and they have a variable tilt adjustment as well. The ISO acoustic technology is all about reducing the energy from other surfaces getting back into the speaker cabinet. We decided to try these out under a pair of Peachtree M24s and we were blown away at the improvement. Once again, make sure you just take a few minutes to position your speakers correctly once you get them mounted on the stands and you'll be very happy with the results. Enjoying music while we work sure makes the day go by faster and I know for me personally it really improves my productivity. These enhancements and little tweaks will really make your music more enjoyable during the day and even more fun when you crank it up after the workday is over. If you have any questions at all about your powered speakers or any other home audio or home theater gear, feel free to give us a call, chat with one of our experts at audiovice.com or stop into one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the latest home audio and home theater content. And we will see you next time.